Hello, my friends. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna have you get a jump on electric fields near continuous charge distributions. All right. So what we have here is a line of charge of finite length, and we're gonna say it has length L, and we're saying that it's positively charged, and that rod, this line, has a linear charge density, um, charge, well, charge per unit length, by definition. Okay, and what we want to do, there's a couple of main places we'll look at the electric field near this charge, or near this charge distribution, and one of them is at a point along the axis of the line. Alright, so here's our point of interest. There's our point of interest. And, um, well, what we've got to do, what you have to do is, as opposed to saying, you know, here's a point of interest, and here's like one charge, and here's a, a different charge where there's a field from the blue one that looks like this, and there's a field from the green one and looks like that, and then, well, the net field is... Um, well, I mean, like, like <laughs> E plus E, you get it? Green field plus blue field. Instead of adding discrete point charge fields, what we've got to now do is say, well, this rod is made of, this stick is made of um, little units of charge DQ. that are located at distances, let's call them R, from our point of interest. All right, I'm also going to define for you that this point is a distance A from the end of the rod. That's just a, uh, people use A a lot. It's a common, as opposed to B. I mean, people use that A, so here's A. All right. Um, so yeah, what's going to happen is, you know, if we want now this elemental unit of charge here creates a field here that is a tiny little field. Is that the tiny little bit of charge? All right. And if we want the complete field, well, that's going to be the sum of all the little fields. The integral. I mean the sum, yes, is the sum. So it's the integral of the DEs. And well, we're gonna write that as each little DE is K times the little DQ at its location. Alright, so this turns into K DQ over R squared. KDQ over R squared. Problem being here, right, this is a variable, but we're D a different variable. So hopefully you can tell here, well, I don't know, hopefully, but there's a, there's a pretty not too bad way of using this to get DQ into a well, we better be able to get it into something dr, all right? So use, um, you know, you, you've been through this with center of mass kind of stuff and rotational inertia kind of stuff, but let's get that dq into a dr and, um, well, think about what your limits of integration have to be when you're getting to dr. Um, and then get yourself to an expression for e at that location. Now, a couple things to notice, right? When we say E equals KQ over R squared, right? This is magnitude, all right? So what you ought to, what your work ought to bear out is that your expression for E comes out negative. So, <laughs> uh, what you ought, what, can I rewind? your work ought to bear out that your expression for E comes out positive even though, right, we have our DE, all our E's, 
our net field is going to point to the left because this is a positively charged rock. So just, you know, I, I kind of picked it on purpose like this to make sure that we can show even though we want, even though we know the field points left, we're not going to get a negative answer. All right, we can chunk on at the end some, you know, like vector and, you know, negative, whoops, and like negative i hat direction sort of thing if we want to, if we want to turn this into a vector expression. But, you know, you should be able to show that your work yields a positive answer. All right, that's one thing. Um, and you ought to be able to show also that at the end of your work for really big A's, What do you expect this field to look like? If you're really far away from this stick of finite length, then what do you expect the field to look like? And does your expression um, justify what you expect? Okay, um, so what else do I need to tell you? I think we are okay with what you have there. Um, yeah, all right, so when I see you next, you'll have an expression for A, for E, <laughs> for the electric field at our point of interest. Okay? All right, see you then.